Hello, happy Halloween, and welcome to Chapman News Online, our spooky show exclusive to YouTube. I'm Nicole Swinford. And I'm Matt Waldo Pritchard. Here's what's going on in and around Orange, but first, we want to take a look at our lovely camera ladies. They have donned their costumes yes. for the holidays. Look at them dancing, smiling. <laughs> Hundreds came out to the Chapman Piazza on Tuesday to try out all kinds of food from different countries. It was the 29th Annual International Food Fair. The event was organized by the Center for Global Education and the Student Government Association. Students got a taste of India, Greece, China, Hawaii, and Japan, just to name a few. The Indian Table won first place with its traditional Pani Puri dessert. President Dodi was also there serving his special family lasagna recipe at the Italy table. The event was free for the Chapman community. What do you think your favorite food was there, Matt? Dodi's lasagna was pretty spectacular, yeah. so I think I'd have to go with that. It was really good. You don't have to travel far to get your Halloween fix. Michelle and Jessica found a local haunted house you could visit, but the question is, can you handle the fear? We're here at the scariest haunted house in all of Orange County. I'm Jessica Carroll. And I'm Michelle Farhang. The owner of Paul's and the vice president of Steady Clothing came together to put this on, hoping to get some screams and gain some money for Paws along the way. <laughs> what is the scariest thing in this house? I'd say probably the meat locker room or maybe the jolt where the guy gets electrocuted, one of those two. When is the grand opening? Uh, it's Sunday evening. It's at 6 o'clock till 10 p.m. There's no charge. It's all donations. We're donating it to ASBCA, and that just goes towards animal shelters and helping the animals out. Before we enter, what can I expect, just so I'm, pre I'm prepared? You have to get past a, a dog, you go into an electric room. It will take anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes to get through when it's staged and it's working. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. That was the scariest thing and it's even daylight out. I can't imagine how scary it's gonna be uh, when it's nighttime and all the 3D holograms, like snakes are gonna come out. Back to something that's not gonna make your heart race. Matt and Nicole, back to you. The Haunted House will be open for everyone October 30th and 31st. All donations will go to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Our show is almost over, but before we leave, you can't forget about the gaming entertainment. This week, Aaron entered the battlefield in a new episode of Elite. Hey guys, Aaron here. Thanks for tuning in to Elite, your go-to for all the buzz in the gaming and entertainment world. Who doesn't love first-person shooters? DICE and EA released their most ambitious game ever, Battlefield 3. No, this is not just another standard FPS. DICE and EA are looking to revolutionize the way you enter the battlefield with enhanced graphics, crystal clear authentic audio, and what we all love the most, bigger explosions. That's right, I'm back for another midnight release here at the GameStop to welcome the newest addition to the Battlefield franchise. I'm here to talk to the fans, to see what they're excited about. I'm here with Spencer. Spencer, what's going on here right now? Um, we're just playing some Battlefield 3, you know, trying to impress all the ladies. That's about it. How are the ladies feeling about Battlefield 3? Uh, probably not very good. What are you excited about? Um, I'm excited for the new Frostbite engine, and I'm excited for this interview to ruin my chances with all the ladies back in Chapman. Okay, well, let's tell all the ladies that Spencer here, he's a super nerd. He loves Battlefield 3. He's here at this midnight release. He's so excited. Spencer, super I've heard about the Frostbite 2 engine, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be like real life. Yeah, it is. What else do you know about it? I just know that it's going to destruct a lot of things. And when you shoot a missile, 
there's going to be preferably a hole in the wall, unless you shoot it at like a rock or something. We are rolling. I'm here with Miles. Miles, what are you excited about for tonight in this release? I'm excited about everything. I'm excited about the gameplay, especially the realistic gameplay compared to Call of Duty. It is the most real war experience you will play on a video game. It is everything war is in the good side. Really, there's a big attention to the weapons in this game. Uh, there's there's so many weapons. There's over hundreds of weapons you can pick up, and each one has their own sounds and specially reload capabilities and sights. So it's really detailed in that aspect as well. If you're a fan of any sort of FPS, you definitely want to come and get your copy of Battlefield 3. You've heard it from them. You've heard it from me. Tune in next time for another episode of Elite. Wow, and Nicole, did you see those graphics? Unbelievable. Yeah, they were so realistic, like we were really there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Battlefield 3 is now available at all major game retail shops, so pick up your copy today. Well, that's all for this webisode. Thanks for watching, and make sure to tune into our next full broadcast, airing live every Friday at noon with a replay Tuesday nights at 10 on Time Warner Channel 6. I'm Matt Pritchard. And I'm Nicole Swinford. And this has been Chapman News Online. Have a fantastic Halloween weekend.